As always, things can get out of hand pretty quickly out there on the water. That's why you always gotta stay prepared. Do everything you can to make sure you're gonna have a good time. And one of the most important things you can do is make sure to check the weather. The last thing you wanna do is head out on a day you shouldn't be out there. You might find yourself in a situation like this. Welcome back crew to this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to California to a situation that's actually gonna hit quite close to home for me. As the family and I decided to go visit California, for a week over the holidays, and one of the things that was discussed to go do was a whale watching tour, kind of like we see here, where this boat winds up getting battered as it tries to return into Mission Bay after going out on a whale watching tour with several guests on board. Here we can see video footage of the crew coming back in, caught from the shore. Several people from this vessel were interviewed after the fact and called it a very scary situation with waves crashing over the stern of the vessel. But most also complimented the captain on the way he stayed calm and then got them back to shore safely. For my crew, it was an easy decision. We got out to California, I checked the weather and saw they were calling for 15 to 20 foot seas in certain areas of California all across the week and we decided quickly this was not something we were going to do. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Australia, where this was the scene this past week. Now, I'm going to preempt this one a little bit. We don't talk about politics on this channel, and we're not going to start today. So I'm not going to go into the full details on this one as to why these people are out here doing this. But let's just say these guys are protesting something that is going on overseas. And their version of doing a protest is placing their kayaks in front of this cargo ship as it comes into port. Now the ship in question is a Zim's container ship called the Vela, and as it's navigating along the Yarra River attempting to go to the container terminal, the kayaks wind up getting in front of it trying to disrupt the vessel and the port's operations. Now, I'm not going to get into the full political aspect, as I mentioned, as to why they're out here protesting, but there are a few things I want to point out about this situation. One. If you want to protest something, that's fine, go for it, but do so in a safe, smart manner, and this is not that. Secondly, if you're going to go out and protest about something, make sure your protest is relative to what you're protesting about. So for example, this particular Zim's container ship is part of Zim's express service that only runs between Korea, China, and Australia. All three countries that have nothing to do with what these guys are out there actually protesting over. Now this crew was successful in halting the ship for about 30 minutes until finally the captain just decided he was gonna go right through them. Fortunately, everybody on the kayaks was okay, but again, just kind of a wild scene to see that a couple kayakers are actually able to even stop a cargo ship for a few minutes. And before the comments go nuts about any political stuff, again, no political agenda here. I just don't agree with the way they were protesting in general. It wouldn't have mattered to me if they were out there protesting that left Twix was better than right Twix. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to bring us back stateside and take us over to North Carolina, where this was the scene this past week, when five people decided they were going to go out for a day of boating on the Cape Fear River near Sanford, North Carolina. The crew wound up launching their boat from Let's Landing and only got about a half mile from the landing when the crew encountered some torrential currents on the Cape Fear River and all five people on the vessel wound up in the water. The local Carolina area has received torrential rains over the past several weeks, causing the Cape Fear River to actually be five to seven foot above normal in most areas, causing these heavy currents and rapids as we see here. Local swift water rescue teams quickly jumped into action once they received the report of the boaters in the water. They actually rescued four of the boaters pretty quickly and a search continued on for the fifth one for several days. Unfortunately, they're still looking. If you have any information, let local authorities know. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to the northeast, where this was the scene just a little over a week ago when four commercial fishermen were out on their vessel fishing just off the coast of Cape Cod, when all of a sudden they found themselves in some pretty rough weather. The next thing they knew, they wound up losing steering and propulsion of the vessel. They called the Coast Guard in for assistance, but while they were out there getting battered by the seas for hours, the vessel took an absolute pounding, eventually losing all the glass from a massive wave that washed over the boat. The Coast Guard air crew winds up pulling two of the four crewmen off the vessel. The master and the first mate opted to stay on board the boat so they could assist with getting the vessel towed back into Martha's Vineyard. But due to the Coast Guard's quick reactions, all four boaters were eventually rescued without injury. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Kelly Howell, Water Lutura, George Rogers 7 and Adam Coolidge did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.